Hi, my name is Doctor. Welcome to today's video about uh, Newfound Superconductor LK99. This is our original picture of LK99, which was found by Zukpa Lee Ji Yong Kim, Yong Wan Kwon. And uh, they discovered this substance in 1999, that's why it has the name LK99. And the letters L and K come from the last names of uh, Lee and Kim. LK99 is a lead appetite that is doped with uh, copper ions. Appetites are a bigger group of uh, substances. One example is hydroxyapatite, that's the mineral in bones and teeth. This is the formula of LK99, that's lead, copper, phosphate, oxide. X is important in the formula, it has to be, to be between 0 0.9 to 1.1. And so about 10% of the lead ions are replaced by copper ions. LK99 is a non stoichiometric compound, and according to these scientists, uh, the Critical temperature is above 127 degrees Celsius. This, this would make this substance are unique. And uh, they have already uh, applied for a patent. But uh, their claim of uh, superconductivity at room temperature and ambient pressure 1 bar uh, was not yet confirmed uh, by other scientists. There was one, only one other group uh, that confirmed uh, superconductivity but only at uh, 100 Kelvin, which is minus 173 degrees Celsius, this would make uh, LK99 a high temperature superconductor because it is above the boiling point of nitrogen, which is at 77 Kelvin, but uh, not a room temperature superconductor. This is the synthesis of LK99. Uh, first step is synthesis of lanarkite, it's uh, lead sulfate oxide, from lead oxide and lead sulfate at 725 degrees Celsius. Second step is the synthesis of uh, copper 1 phosphide at 550 degrees Celsius from the elements. Third step is the synthesis of LK99 from lanarkite plus copper phosphate plus oxygen in a redox reaction in a vacuum tube at 925 degrees Celsius. Product is LK99 and byproduct is sulfur. And this is the structure of LK99. It's a modified lead apatite structure with, co uh, with a column structure. There are two kinds of uh, lead ions, the uh, outer lead ions in uh, black in this picture, and in gray the inner lead ions, they are separated by the phosphate ions. Um, the replacement of uh, lead ions with um, copper ions causes a volume reduction by 0.48%, according to these scientists. And theoretical calculations showed uh, the oxygen ions in the middle prefer a maximum distance from the copper ions that cause uh, the stress. There's another picture of the structure of LK99. You can see the copper ion substitute happens only with the outer lead ions. Here you can see the different sizes of the copper and the lead ions. And um, this replacement causes a shrinkage and stress in the material. It produces quantum wells, and this gives uh, LK99 its uh, superconductive properties, according to the scientists. Um, this is another work of Chinese scientists uh, Liu Hao and Engang Fu. They made a first principles calculation of LK99 that uh, showed that uh, that appetite here in this picture at the right is an insulator. That was confirmed by their calculation. However, their calculation predicted for LK99 uh, half metallic uh, properties, and they could not observe the superconductivity of this material. Um, this is another work of um, H. Singh from India. Um, his group uh, produced a copper and uh, nickel doped lead appetite. An interesting thing is uh, the nickel doped uh, lead appetite is paramagnetic, which is a weak attraction by an external magnetic field. However, um, this uh, group did not uh, find a superconductivity in the LK99 material. However, their samples had impurities of copper 1 sulfide. Uh, this at the left is an original picture of Lee of and Kim of the superconductor LK99. This is another work of uh, Chang Liu and his group from China. Um, they predict that the properties of LK99 come from uh, a phase mixture at micro scales, for example, with uh, copper, two, copper 1 sulfide. And according to their predictions, uh, the oxygen concentration is very important for the superconducting properties. This is another work from uh, Benjamin Zhu 
and uh, Marseille, France from uh, Canada. Um, they predict a triangular subplatus of AK99, which is shown in this picture. Uh, ions, uh, copper ions are surrounded by triangles of oxygen atoms. Uh, they break the symmetry of the structure. And according to them, uh, AK99 is an inversion asymmetric uh, whale semi-metal. Uh, superconductivity is unclear. And the formula is also unclear. It could be uh, lead copper phosphate oxide or lead copper phosphate hydroxide. Um, this is what a whale semi-metal state is. Uh, this phenomenon um, was uh, researched uh, with the substance tantalum arsenide. It is a, a whale a semi-metal. You can see in this picture whale nodes. Uh, these are single crossing points of valence on conduction bands. They are momentum space monopoles and anti-monopoles. And according to this scientist, uh, AK99 has two very nodes near the Fermi level. The Fermi level is the energy that you need to add one more electron to the structure. And at the top of the picture, you can see the Fermi arc. Uh, this is in the Eudo gap state of a superconductor. This is an ungapped area in the momentum space. There's another interesting compound, uh, strontium titanate, SRTiO3. Strontium atoms in this uh, picture are green, titanium ions are um, blue, and oxide ions are red. And this is the perovskite structure, and this substance is used as a diamond imitation. There's another work from Alexandru um, Georgescu from USA. He made a comparison of uh, strontium titanate, which is uh, doped by 25% vanadium, this AK99. And this uh, scientist uh, predicts uh, that uh, AK99 uh, copper side of tetroxide squares are more stable than tetrahedrons, and he predicts AK99 to be an insulator. And this is a doping phase diagram of cuprates at um, high temperature superconductors. Um, High temperature superconductors have a critical temperature above a uh, boiling point of nitri uh, liquid nitrogen at 77 Kelvin or minus 196 degrees Celsius. And you can see at the right uh, doping uh, with holes, at the left doping with electrons. And what is interesting is in both cases uh, you get the optimal result of opt um, highest uh, critical temperature at about 15% doping. This is another work of uh, Xie Yun Xu and colleagues from USA and uh, China. Um, they think that uh, Oguliobov part quasi particles in cup rates uh, are very important for the superconductivity. Um, Boguliobov quasi particles are a combination of ex excitations of electron and uh, positive electron holes. This is another work of uh, Patrick Lee and uh, Zihao Dai from USA. Um, according to their work, uh, the copper and the oxide ions in AK99 make a buckle honeycomb lattice. And there is only a small energy separation of the orbitals of the copper and the oxide ions. This is another um, nice movie of the meissner oxenwert effect, uh, which is an expulsion of a magnetic field in a superconductor. Uh, once the temperature, temperature is below the critical temperature and um, high temperature superconductor means you can achieve superconductivity uh, by cooling it with uh, nitrogen. And that was today's video about uh, Superconductor AK99, the newest articles. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.